So this is the M, the Odroid M1 with the VU8M monitor on a touch screen. Uh, it's a pretty cool little device. Um, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking like a home lab, um, or I was thinking about just uh, setting it up to run a virtual of Temple OS and just have it like mounted in the hallway to do offerings and whatnot, and generate some cool songs. But what I wanted to show you today was, um, actually let's print this off, uh, how to, because the documentation for this device is kind of trash, um, is how to boot Petty OS, or the Petty BIOS, to one of the net installers. So right when we get into here, into the Petty, I'm going to hit the up arrow to give us some time here, so there's some boot into the... Uh, Ubuntu that's uh, installed on here. So, to get to the net boot, you need to exit to the shell and enter that command. So, let's just do it. So, now we've enabled the net boot option, so let's exit back. And you'll see all the different distros here you can install via Netboot. Um, if you can't read that on the screen, because I know this camera angle is kind of just wonky right now, it's Ubuntu 22.04, Ubuntu 20.04, Debian 11, Debian 10, Ubuntu 20.4 Live System Experimental, Rescue 2, Rescue 2 Illa, and then MA, uh, MAAS. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to boot into Debian. What I'll do is it'll download the Netboot installer. And then once it's done downloading that, it will run the installer. And then it's just a basic installer of that version of uh, Debian for the most part. And it usually runs pretty fast. Um, as far as downloading and uh, installing the OS. Oh, um, Debian doesn't recognize this monitor by default as VU8M, so, and that's the same with like all the netboot options, which is kind of a shame. At least since I've been playing with it, they might be updated now, I don't know. I haven't checked if there's a newer version of the BIOS. So we've got HDMI in there, and then you can see there just your standard looking Debian installer. Just would run through that and install Debian like you normally would. Once you're inside the Debian system you could make a uh, make it aware of the VU8M monitor but I couldn't get it to work um, in uh, Debian or Ubuntu from the net boot. I ended up having to connect it via USB uh, C cable. No, USB micro cable and then boot it kind of uh, as a um, as an external drive to another machine. But uh, eh, I mean, there's not much to see here. Just your standard Debian installer, which is pretty responsive, actually. My internet isn't the best, um, so this is uh, a pretty good experience. So that's the first video I'm going to do on this device. Uh, I probably should have started off with a review, but I was just playing around with this. I'm like, you know what, this is... I'm just going to start making some little <laughs> documentation videos that are short and sweet that show somebody how to do something, because the community is uh, small and trying, but there's a lot there that you kind of have to cobble together. All right, thanks.